Your learning target is I can solve problems involving arrays and area. Your success criteria for today is I will know I am successful when I can use repeated addition to find the total number of objects in an array. What is an array? Arrays are things put into rows and columns. So look at my array of cupcakes. Let's first look at the rows. Rows go side to side, just like rows of chairs. So we have one row, two rows, and three rows of cupcakes. Now let's look at columns. Columns go up and down like on a building. So we have one, two, three, four columns in this array. And that's important and that helps us because we can figure out how many objects are in this array without having to count the indip individual cupcakes. So let's think about that. The, it's important to also note that in each one of these rows, there are the same number of cupcakes. Think about the rows as a group. So this group has one, two, three cupcakes. And group two or row two has one, two, three, four cupcakes. And row three or group three has one, two, three, four cupcakes. And it's really important to know that, that each one of these rows has the same number of objects. And it's important because this would not be an array if there were a cupcake here or a cupcake here. If one of these rows had five cupcakes, it would no longer be an array because in an array, there has to be the same number of objects in each group or in each row. Let's look at this this array of oatmeal cookies and doesn't that look good? So I'm going to analyze this one and show you how to build a repeated addition statement that will help you figure out how many objects there are. Now you could quickly add these or just count them, but when the arrays get bigger, it's easier to do repeated addition. And next year when you're in third grade, you can also do multiplication with these. So let's see. There are my rows. I have one, two, three rows. And remember, I want you to think about those as groups. So there's one group, one row, two groups, that's two rows, and three groups, that's three rows. Now let's look at the columns, which is going to tell me how many are in each group. So I have one column here, two columns here, and three columns here. That means that I have three cookies in each row or in each group. So you can see that there are three cookies here and three cookies here and three cookies here. So I can quickly figure out how many there are in all by just adding these up. Three plus three plus three. So my equation, my repeated addition, repeated means doing it over and over, is three plus three plus three because there were three cookies in the group one or row one, three cookies in row two, and three cookies in row three. And that makes nine, nine cookies in all. Now, remember to add these, you can use any strategy that works. You can draw models, you can draw pictures, you can just say three plus three is six, and then count on, put that in your head, six, and then count on three more. So as these get bigger, as the arrays get bigger, you do have to come up with some strategies for adding these repeated addition equations. Here's, here's one we're going to do together. And boy, I'm getting hungry in this lesson, aren't you? So let's count the rows. There's chocolate rows here. There's one, two, three, four. There's four total rows. How many columns are there? See if you can count them quickly. Did you get it? Let's try together. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six chocolates in each row. There are six columns. That's how I know that. Because there's one column, two, three, four, five, six. And that means that in row one, there are six chocolates. So the columns are how many are in each row. So let's see. We have six columns and four rows. Hmm. So we have six here in row one, six here in row two, 
six here in row three and six in row four. That's going to be four sixes. Six plus six, that's the first two rows, plus six is the next row, plus six is the fourth row. Now we can add that up and you can eat, you can add these any way you want. For me it works just to go 6 plus 6 is 12. Put that in my head and count on 6 more makes 18. Put that in my head and count on 6 more makes 24. So there are 24 chocolates here. And it is easier to add them up than it is to just count them because these arrays can get really big. Let's do one more. This time I'd like you to pause the video. Um, pause the video and see if you can do this, how many rows, how many columns, and then write a repeated addition equation. Okay, how did you do? Well, how many rows of windows do we have here? Oh, yep, there are three rows of windows. One, two, three. And how many columns are there? There are four. So there's one column, two, three, four. There are four columns in all. That means that we have four here in row one, four here in row two, four here in row three. So if we write the repeated addition, we would have four plus four plus four, three groups of four. There's one group, two groups, three groups. Four plus four is eight, plus four is 12. Great, there's one more for you. Go ahead, pause the video and solve it. All right, how did you do? Let's see, there's one row and two rows, two rows and how many columns? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six columns. Hmm, so what's the repeated addition equation? Did you get it on your paper? Let's see, it's six, six, row, six here in this first row and in the second row, there's six more. So six plus six is 12. There are 12 total objects. Remember that arrays are very helpful to figure out the total number of objects in a group. And that is your, or I'm sorry, in an array. So you're looking for the total number of objects in an array. And that is your success criteria for today. Here's one last one. And notice now, this is a challenge. It is going to be easier to do the addition than just to count them all. So pause the video and figure out how many rows, how many columns, and set up a repeated addition equation. Pause the video now. Okay, how'd you do? Well, let's do it together. One row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows. There are five rows of bears. Let's count the columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven columns. So let's see, there's five groups and in each group there are seven bears. Let's do it. One group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. Or you can think about it this way, row one, row two, row three, row four, row five. And if I add all those up, and again, you can add them any way you want. You can make dots. You can do seven plus seven. Put that in your head. 14 plus seven more makes 21. Plus seven more makes 28. Plus seven more makes 35. There are 35 bears. Your success criteria was I will know I'm successful when I can use repeated addition to find the total number of objects in an array.